Your life changes the moment you make a new, congruent, and committed decision. Anthony Robbins said this, and I love this quote. Hi, this is Ray Stendhal. Thanks so much for coming to this channel and tuning in. This video series is about the seven C's of getting amazing results in your life, both in your personal life and in your business life. If you apply the ideas I'm sharing with you, you're going to get some pretty incredible results and it's going to move you forward from where you are to where you want to be. This is the seventh video in the series. It's our last video on the seven C's of getting great results. If you haven't seen the other six videos, I encourage you to take a look at them. All right, let's get on to today's story. The process of getting a green card for me was a very interesting process. I'm originally from Canada and to get a green card actually took me 10 years. You would think that it would be a lot quicker, simply come across the border, get a job, apply and get one. Well, it's not really quite like that. I, was, I got a green card in the process of a, in a process of a market that really declined. I was working in the high tech sector and in working for the high tech sector, the market was like a roller coaster. And as it was roller coasting up and roller coasting down, I can tell you it was quite disheartening to watch tens of thousands of people be laid off week by week as I was getting a green card. You see, when you're getting a green card and if you lose your job in the process of being sponsored to get a green card, really what happens is that you have to leave the country, which really didn't quite appeal to me. So as you can imagine, I was very committed and did everything I could to excel in my role, add value, and to be able to continue and move forward and get my green card. Now, this video is all about congruence. It's about being able to complete the task. It's about being able to be congruent with the actions you take in relation to that that you want, in relation to your dream. If there's no congruency, what are you really doing? You're just basically telling lies to yourself. You don't want to tell lies to yourself. If you claim to have a dream, but take no actions, you're doing yourself a great disservice. Why? Because by not taking any actions, not being congruent with your dream, you ultimately will not reach your dream. And what kind of message does that send to your subconscious mind? Where time after time after time, you don't reach your dream. So it's not because you, you tried and failed. It's because you didn't try or you weren't congruent in your actions. And those negative messages are not at all good for you. In this video, I want to share with you some ideas that can al allow you to move forward and make sure that your actions are congruent with the size and the scope of your dreams. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to separate feeling for doing something and actually doing what needs to be done. You see, that's a big difference between being committed and being invested is that when you're invested in something, as I talked about in the story of the pig and the chicken, you do things when you feel like doing it. When you're committed, you do things because you have committed yourself to do it. You are engaged in the process and you're in control and you have the self-discipline to give yourself a command and to follow it. So that's the first step is you got to separate feeling to do something and doing it because you told yourself to do it. You need to control your thoughts because your thoughts are going to impact your feelings and your feelings are going to impact what drives you to take an action. If you have a negative thought that you don't think you can do something and you feel kind of depressed on the topic, do you really think you're going to spring into action like a spring chicken and go ahead and do something? I don't think so. So we have to monitor our thoughts. We have to also separate feeling to do something and doing something. Now, you also need to control your activities so you don't waste time. We talked about time blocking in a previous video, and I want to emphasize this whole idea of being very uh, cognizant and aware of how you're using your time. Because there is opportunities that pass right in front of you to move your dream forward, and sometimes you don't take advantage of all of those opportunities. Next, you have to control the environment. We talked about this before, and it also impacts your level of congruency. If you're around people, who are willing to tolerate your lack of congruency and not stand up and say, hey, didn't you say you wanted X? Why are you doing Y? See, there are people in our lives which are relaxed. These are people who don't get results. These are people who are never going to shake you up and tell you that you're not being congruent. 
See, that's one of the reasons why a coach is useful. A coach is somebody who's objective, can stand out in front of you and say, you know what? Last week you said this, this week you did why. What's up with that? Why are you not following through? So in your own environment, make sure you surround yourself with people who are willing to shake you up a little bit. Be willing to shake up other people. Sometimes you need to get into their face. Sometimes it's going to hurt. But in the big picture of things, it's going to move people forward. And they'll thank you for it. So you got to control your environment. You got to control the negative influences around you who are willing to permit your lack of congruency. Finally, you got to ask yourself, did I complete the promises that I made to myself? I want you to think about this in terms of promises because we are conditioned from a young age to keep our promises. And if you make a promise to yourself, that implies a whole different level of emotional connection than simply calling it a goal. I learned that from Bill Bartman. It's a great tip. Okay, if you don't know who Bill Bartman is, by the way, he is a very successful entrepreneur and a billionaire. Great guy. I want to share with you a couple of mistakes that you can avoid from falling into that's going to help you be more congruent. And the way you go about doing this is you got to really start to take a look at the impact of tasks and what's the cost of not moving forward. We talked about this a little bit before in another video. Not willing to pay the price for what you really want is one of the biggest reasons for lack of congruency and giving up prematurely. It's so interesting. If you take a look at uh, um, an elephant giving birth to a baby elephant or a human giving birth to a little child, an infant, there is a cycle, there is a process, there is a gestation period. And quite often we don't appreciate the fact that it takes time for that seed, that idea, to blossom into a new flower or a new tree or in this case a new business or a new sale. There is a process to go through. And sometimes we want immediate results. We live in a microwave culture where we can TiVo and skip through the channels. We want it now. I want to suggest to you that there are things in your life that you need to make happen, that you want to make happen, and what you need to do is realize that there is a cycle for it to happen. You have to put in the right causes in, in place so that you can get the effects. So one of the things that I can share with you in terms of a best practice is, is you got to make these promises for yourself. You have to hold these promises in the highest regard, with the highest respect, because they are to yourself. And there is no one that you should respect more than yourself. Cultivate the self-discipline. I, I mentioned the ability to give yourself a command and to follow through. That's key. You can imagine. Sunday morning, it's nice and warm. You're in your bed. You don't want to wake up early to go and do what you told yourself to do. Whether that is to go to the gym, whether that is to go and work on your project. Yeah, Sunday morning, working on your project. That might be the priority that you've set for yourself and it's something you're going to want to follow through on. I hope you got a lot out of this video series. I really tried my best to share a lot of ideas and wisdoms and things that I have learned through my career and my life. I want you to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, share the video and please, please, please comment on this video. Let me know what you're thinking. How is this working for you? Are there other strategies that you're using that you're getting better results with? Share them. If you are using these strategies, let me know how they're working for you. Come visit my website. Come to my fan page on Facebook. Interact. I want to really get to know you. If you come back to my website, which I certainly hope you will, raystundle.com, I'm sharing a free 30-minute video training on a business topic related to building, marketing, and selling amazing products and services. I'm sure you'd agree that the majority of successful, wealthy people on, the, in the, on this planet did so through some type of a business. Whether they are an owner of a business, they're an entrepreneur and getting one off the ground, it's something that you need to learn about. I guarantee if you take the time to start going down this pathway, you'll be very happy you did. Come back to my website and I'll be more than happy to share with you a 30-minute video training. I really hope you enjoyed this video series. Till we meet again, go ahead and build, market, and sell amazing products that make a difference today. This is Ray Stendhal.